lightning. Okay, guys, so we're gonna try again. Hey, you are coming out of was a fail. Finder. Welcome back. Welcome back. Typing in text fields. Text it's fields are always on the screen. Enter information. Most text fields have text labels above or beside them. Move the voiceover cursor to a label to learn about the text field and the type of information to enter in the field. When you type in a text field, you hear each letter as you type it. it when you type in a again. secure text field, such as a password field, the characters are not spoken. Use voiceover now to We're read not. the labels for the text fields in the practice area Please below, get. and then move the cursor to the text fields to enter text. When you're done, Select the continue or go back button. Okay, wait till voice voice over on. on. Voice over quick stop. Type was set. Name, edit text. Type your name. Name, edit text. G A P I E L. Gabriel L E A G. Let's check my channel name. My second channel name. G A S T E C H H up up T O one two. Type was sample password. G A B S T E C H H one double T O twelve. Password secure edit text. Quit button. You are. Go back. Continue button. So continue. And there Interacting with elements. Some elements on screen can contain other elements. VoiceOver simplifies navigation by moving only to these top level elements, such as text areas, toolbars, tables, or controls. When you hear an element of interest, you can stop and interact with it. For example, interact with the toolbar to explore its tools, or with the control to change its setting. When you interact with an element, you navigate only within its boundaries until you stop interacting. To start interacting with an element, press VO shift down arrow. To navigate within the element, use VO and the arrow keys. To stop interacting with it, press VO shift up arrow. Use voiceover now to interact with the toolbar in the practice area below. When you're done, Navigate to the continue or go back button, then press the O spacebar to select it. Text. Some elements on screen can contain other elements. Voiceover simplifies navigation by moving only to the toolbar. Quit button. Toolbar. Interact with. New message button. Get mail button. New, new note button. New message. Press new message button. Stop interact. Quit button. Go back button. Continue button. Navigating in tables. When you interact with tables in text documents and web pages, you navigate vertically and horizontally using the arrow keys in voiceover navigation commands you have already learned. Voiceover provides additional commands for reading tables by column, row, or cell. To read a table column, press VOCC. To read a row, press VOR. To read the column header, VOC. Use voiceover now to explore the table on the practice area below. When you're done, select the continue or go back button. Voiceover on. Quit button. Table. Row 14. Interact with table. Row 14. In 14. Language. Korean. Character count. 6. Interact with edit text. 6. 6. Stop. In stop. Interact. Quit button. Go. Quit. Go. Continue button. Selecting a date and time, to change a value in a date or time field you're interacting with, press VO up arrow or VO down arrow. To move to the next or previous field, press VO right arrow or VO left arrow. Use voiceover now to select a date and time in the practice area below. When you're done, select the continue or go back button. Voiceover on, voiceover quick start, selecting a date and time. Enter a time. 9 a.m. time. Quit button. No, February 12th, 19. 9 a.m. time. Interact with time. 10 a.m. 0 seconds. 10 a.m. 0 seconds. 0 minutes. 10 a.m. 0 seconds. 0 minutes. 1. Stop interacting with. Enter a time. February 12th, 10. Go back button. Continue. I'm not button. gonna go into this in depth, please, so. Don't waste time. Using steppers. Steppers are on-screen controls for increasing or decreasing the value of a numeric setting. To use a stepper, first interact with it. Then to increase a value, press VO up arrow. To decrease a value, press VO down arrow. Use voiceover now to practice using the steppers below. 
When you're done, select the Continue or Go Back button. Voice over on, voice over, quick start, using Stebbers, Stebber. 25, content selected, age, edit, Stebber. Interact with Stebber. Incrementing, incrementing, incrementing. Stop interacting with, 28, content selected, step, number of children, zero, content, Stebber. Interact, in, in, incre in, 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 incrementing, stop in, 15, content selected, uh. Stebber. Quit button, go back button, continue button. Continue, bitch face. Using the doc. The dock is a collection of icons along the edge of the screen that makes it easy to open your favorite applications, such as Mail, Safari, and iTunes. And I have no You can open on this, applications so. using Finder or Spotlight, too. To navigate to the dock, press VOD. To move from one icon to another in the dock, press VO left arrow or VO right arrow. To open the application whose icon is in the voiceover cursor, press VO spacebar. Continue to the next panel by pressing the right using the menu bar. Application menus are located in the menu bar across the top edge of the screen. The menus change to match the active application but typically include file, edit, format, window, and help menus. The Apple menu, at the left end of the menu bar, is always available. At the right end of the menu bar are the status menus. Status menus contain items such as Spotlight, Notification Center, and others depending on your computer and settings. To navigate to the menu bar, press VOM. To navigate to the status menus, press VOMM. To navigate in the menu bar, press VO left arrow or VO right arrow. Continue to the next panel by pressing the right. Navigating web pages. You can easily navigate the web page using voiceover commands you've already learned, such as VO right arrow, VO left arrow, VO up arrow, and VO down arrow. Continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow. Using the web rotor, you can quickly navigate web pages using the voiceover web rotor. The web rotor displays common items on web pages, such as links and headers in separate lists. Choose a list and then select an item in the list to jump to that item on the web page. To open the web rotor, press VOU. To move through the list, press the right or left arrow key. To navigate to an occurrence of an item, such as a link on the web page, press the up arrow or down arrow key. Now continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Using other web spots, VoiceOver provides an alternate way to browse web pages based on their visual layout. When a web page opens, VoiceOver identifies key elements that represent related items on the page and automatically creates virtual tags, called web spots, to mark them. To jump to the next or previous auto web spot, press VO Command N or VO Command Shift N. When you hear one of interest, use general navigation keys to hear the related items. To move to the item before or after an auto web spot, press VO right arrow key or VO left arrow key. Now continue to the next panel by practicing web page navigation. Use voiceover now to navigate web pages in the practice We're not area below. Do this, so I'm just gonna press you can use VO voiceover review. Take time now to review the voiceover commands you have learned by using them in the practice area below. If you need to revisit a lesson, oh, yeah, use the go back button. Part. When you're done, select the continue button on this panel. Cities, name, edit text. G A B E L. Cities, Gabriel, Cupertino, USA. Password, password, secure edit. Choose settings, announce alert message, language, speak, speak, com comment, go back, continue, panel, continue. Getting more from your Mac, congratulations. You have completed the voiceover quick start. Now you can use the voiceover commands you have learned to get more out of using your Mac. If you need help using voiceover, press VOH when voiceover is running. You can customize voiceover using voiceover utility. Voiceover utility presents a list of 10 categories, from general to activities. To open voiceover utility, press VOF8 when voiceover is running. To exit the voiceover quick start, press the escape key or select the done button. To revisit panels, select the 
voiceover on Finder. And that's it for that. The voiceover quick start and in this quick start. start. Voiceover on fun. So that's it for this video, you guys. I'm going to keep the video oh, on, take it out of full screen. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.